Hello, Evan. This is my uh, second reflection on planning for emergencies. As you can tell, I'm in my uh, garage. I would show you uh, my green space, my backyard, and my dra driveway, but it is raining right now. Um, as a PE teacher, um, I can't do any screenshots because um, all my lessons will need to be either a video demonstrating a specific skill like basketball dribbling, uh, football throwing, uh, volleyball passing, serving, all that stuff. So I have to be creative in this uh, reflection as well. Um, there's five things that I could add into the space or even outside. Um, I'm planning if we are doing at home learning um, to get a small little whiteboard um, that I can hang on my garage door or the other wall. Um, I can also um, add a TV that is hooked up to my laptop. Okay, and I would be a little bit closer and I can um, edit the videos, all that stuff to see uh, to show students the objectives and the goals as well. I uh, forgot the number one improvement would be using the uh, uh, garage and the green space and the uh, driveway as well. Uh, number four improvement would be the clear and concise content. content. I need to be very specific to my students, especially having 550 students K through four at two buildings. Kindergarten is going to be a lot different from fourth grade, so I need to be very grade level specific with my activities. Also, I need to have specific equipment. I don't have uh, a lot of it right here right now. I do have some ladders, hurdles. Um, I can't get into the school right now to start creating some videos, just like not having a whiteboard or a TV that I can borrow from school as well. So if we are at home, I will get all that stuff and then I'll be really more specific with my lessons to the students. Um, I need to focus on lessons and activities that I do well and not change. Um, I need to act like the students are in front of me just like uh, what I am doing in my gymnasiums at both schools. Act like they are there and be real, really specific. Um, don't replace, I don't need to replace what I already know what to do. Okay, I can add on, but I don't want to really change anything. So I just want to make it really content area specific uh, area level um, with the students in front of me as well. I need to use communication, specific guidelines into my lessons. I need to be creative. Create opportunities for students to create activities. Um, I think students will like that doing on um, Seesaw um, or Google Classroom creating videos of them doing uh, sports specific skills. Could be jump roping, could be doing the warm ups as well. I need to give choices of activities so I can give different um, videos on the activities, but I can give them choices of what they want to do. But I want to have them to be fun, but keep it simple, but safe. So I'm thinking about my videos are going to be very short. Like I said, I only see them for either 20 or 30 minutes twice every six days. Um, I like to keep them active, but I want to give them specific skills for a specific activity as well. So my learner variability, all learners are different. Okay, for me is the skill of activities that I do. Um, I love the analogy of the 7-10 split in bowling. Um, we do a bowling unit, so I tell them, all right, you're going to have to hit one or try to be creative. So there's a lot of variabilities with that. I have a wide range of learners K through 4. I can use a universal design of learning, but should um, break, it, break it down by each grade level, like I talked about a little bit ago. My lessons through videos and worksheets will be mastered by, by me. Okay, It will take some practice as, as I want to address all learners. So there are going to be times where I'm going to have to stop the video. Oh, I don't like that. i got to do something new. Um, if it's in the winter time, 
Um, I can't go outside, so I have to use my garage. But luckily, I have a furnace in here to warm it up, but I have to just adjust where, uh, where I need to. The four factors of learning variability, contents. Okay, for my area would be the warm-ups and the skill for the lessons. The cognition, how, how well students will remember the lessons. I want the students to remember them so by the time we get back to school or the following, following year, they will know what I've already taught. But I would hopefully will review the sports specific skills and the, all the other things that they did through the videos and stuff. The social and emotional learning. What is the student's motivation to exercise? I need to demonstrate. Because if I just stand here and talk to them, hey, do this, do that, they're not going to do it. But if I give them specific videos of me doing exercising or a sports-specific skill, more than likely they're going to do it. At the elementary level, students are really active, so I don't think there'll be a big problem, but I want them to be active as much as they can, and that helps them um, learn lifelong lessons as well. Student background. Do they have capabilities to do the activity? They need equipment, they need the space, and they always need to be safe. So I got to take that into consideration. If they don't have a basketball, soccer ball, volleyball, football, jump rope, I got to be creative. Okay, so there's certain ways, uh, balloons, they can buy balloons. There's many different things out there that I can do to help the students succeed in a activity. I need to, there's the three things, internalize the framework learner variability. What can be different? Be receptive to development during implementation. What is working or not? I need to always reevaluate what I do and what the students are doing to see how well the activity is going. Do I need to change? Do I need to add, subtract, whatever? I just need to reevaluate everything. Seek out strategy specialists to team with. Can I work with the classroom teachers? Can I work with the art, music, LMC guidance teachers? Or can I work with the other PE teacher on the other side of town to create videos together to help all Newton students K through four? So there's many things that I can work with. I would love to work with the classroom teachers and the other special teachers as well. I need to reach out, uh, I need to make sure I need to reach each learner. Every learner is different. Uh, we have specialized students that want this school, so I need to be adapted to them as well. I just want them to be successful in all the units as much as they can be, but I need to make sure they're engaged on a daily basis or if the school decides, hey, you're only gonna do two or three videos a week, during their specific class. Um, I want to make sure they're engaged at all times because I want them to be healthy and active as much as possible. Um, during these last three months, many kids probably haven't been doing too much, just playing video games. So I want them to be active. So this is my learning space this coming uh, year if we are at home, also at the driveway, also on my uh, backyard grass area. So there's many things that I can do to improve. Um, so this is my second reflection for planning for our emergencies. Um, thank you for your time, Evan. Um, look, forward, look forward to learning more about the uh, third area for the third reflection. Thank you.